This tutorial is just going to be a quick demo on how to create a blood trail in Lightwave. You see here I've got uh, my zombie legless character here and as she crawls along she leaves a trail behind her. Um, I initially did this in, in Blender using the uh, paint and canvas tool and it got me wondering whether I can actually achieve this same thing in Lightwave so I'm just going to run you through quickly how I achieved that. So. Here we are in Lightwave and I've got my zombie character. So what I want is to create a polygon here with a UV map so she is essentially draws onto that um, UV map and we can bake an image sequence from there. So if we just nip to Modeler, you can see here I've already got a strip and this is the length that the zombie is going to crawl along and then I've just created a single UV map for that whole section so we've got that in layout now okay so what I'm going to do is bring up the surface editor and I'm going to just make that a pure black and luminosity this is just a standard material luminosity 100 uh, diffuse zero so then what I'm going to do is I want to create a, an alpha image so what I'm going to do is turn the character to a pure white so she essentially just draws white onto my UV okay so the next step is we want a surface baking camera so we select the camera and P for properties I'm going to set that to surface baking camera and I'm also going to set my um, resolution here I'm just going to go for 1200 by 1200 hit the properties button and we are going to use the strip here that I've made which is called the crawl board and select the UV map crawl board UV and you can see there it's going to bake whatever's in this range so I can offset that and so the higher this is the more of the character is going to show up in our bake so the idea here is to have the um, the draw distance the offset really really low so it just it bakes the contact points so let's just have a look at that through the camera if I go into camera view and hit VPR you can see here that we've got Some marks for where the character is actually touching the the canvas almost so this is a little bit of trial and error um, you have to try different uh, values in the offset here what worked for me was I'll just take the um, the mesh here and just lower that I'm just going to go minus 0.1 so that when we're inside view you can see that it's well below the character so from that I'm going to just going to go for something about 170 millimeters here what that gives me is something like this okay so we can just sort of see handprints and things so at this stage don't worry about this clipping so that actually funnily enough adds to the effect in the end so what we're going to do now is just literally set up a, um, a render and just render your sequence out as you normally would uh, I've got all my settings here but it's I've just gone for PNG 24 bit and we essentially get a black and white sequence so I'll just render that and I'll be back with you. Okay, so here we are in After Effects and I'm just going to load my images into here now. Um, but firstly, just create a comp. So I'm just going to create this comp, which is the same resolution and frame rate as my uh, image sequence. So we'll create that and then we're going to load in all of these lightwave images 
But what we're not going to do here, it, we're not going to have a PNG sequence. We want to load these as separate images. Let's just let that do its thing. Okay, those are loaded in now. So I'm going to select my comp and I'm just going to drag all of those images in. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to set all of those uh, images to be add. So hopefully we should get a real mess here of uh, images overlaid over the top of one another. There we go. So that's going to be our full trail essentially. So the idea here is rather than it being an image sequence where it plays each frame in sequence, what we're going to do is offset them offset the frames but leave them on screen so essentially each frame it runs through adds to the image and, and then gives the effect of it actually drawing so the way I offset them is there's a little um, plugin called animation composer and there's a free if you do a search online mr. horse animation composer it's a free plugin uh, it's just the content that uh, costs money so all of these tools actually come with it for free and there's this uh, transition shifter so if I just grab that and what I want to do is stagger the layers by one frame in descending order and there you go it's it, you can see there it's offset all of these now so the idea is when this starts to play you see the each frame draw in so let's just jump back to Lightwave and we'll see how we can use that. Right, so here we are back in Lightwave. Um, I'm just going to tidy up my scene again. I'm just going to set this at zero height and get my surfaces back on here. There we go. And I'm going to load in my image sequence. And set that to be a sequence. I've got 30 frames a second, 500 frames, that's right. And then we'll jump into the surface editor on our default surface for the board. And let's just check this by putting it on the, um, the color, set the UV map, and select our sequence. And hopefully, when we press play, we should see that's actually drawing on on that plane now which looks kind of cool so obviously the the higher you have the um, offset on that surface baking camera the more it's going to draw on here so it's kind of just a balancing act just to see how much you want how much detail you want on there so right, if we just drop back to surface editor let's just grab that or we'll copy that and paste that to the transparency we'll just invert that and now we've got our trail here and we can change the color something like that and now we've got a pretty convincing looking trail Obviously, if you want more detail and things, you can uh, up the resolution of the frames, but it depends how close you're going to get to this character. So there we are, Blood Trails in Lightwave.